Hello and welcome to the latest weekly Bitcoin analysis brought to you by ZB. Joe here as always, hope you're doing well and thank you very much for tuning in. So looking back at the Bitcoin market last week, we can see that the US 10 year treasury bond interest rate is still on the up. There's a fear of higher inflation, uh, the macro policy uncertainty that that brings has intensified the correction of risk assets. So Bitcoin's price will still be suppressed by this in the short term. This will still have a big impact in the weeks to come. The Bitcoin market has strong liquidity, a freer fund flow, and relatively few policy restrictions, which is a good thing in the long term. In comparison to US stocks, its risk pricing is more adequate as well, and the time for market reversal is earlier. We believe that the recent weakness in the market, especially Bitcoin's sharp correction that we saw more recently, factors in the uncertainty of the Fed's interest rate hike and balance sheet reduction in advance. We believe that the recent weakness in the market, especially Bitcoin's sharp correction recently, factors in the uncertainty of the Fed's interest rate hike and balance sheet reduction in advance. Drawing on what we've observed historically, Bitcoin may bottom out earlier than the US stock market. There are serious signs of oversold Bitcoin at present. There are large buying orders between $30,000 and $32,000, which can be regarded as a support level in the short term. The current contract market risk has eased relative to last week as well. The size of Bitcoin's open positions has dropped to the level which we observed at around 4th December, and the funding rate has also turned negative as well. In terms of fundamentals, the Bitcoin balance of exchanges began to see a large net outflow again last week, with 20,000 Bitcoins outflow in one single week. The current Bitcoin price has fallen to the shutdown price of some miners, but the miners have not sold off significantly and are still actively increasing their holdings, so that's still going on in the background. So that's our brief wrap up of Bitcoin over the last week. Remember, this is just what we see. It's not trading advice. Please take care if you're getting into cryptocurrencies. You've seen more recently that there's some volatility in the market. Please be careful when you're trading. Make sure that you research your markets. At present, Bitcoin is already above the support axis of the 15th line. And if it can stop falling, it will build a bottom at around $34,000. The hearing of the Federal Reserve on January 26 is a very important information surface. The news will usher in a surge. Good luck with your trades for the coming week. We wish you all the very best and we'll see you here this time next week.